OK, let's get more on our main story this afternoon. And Serena Wiegmann has named her England squad that will go for glory in this summer's World Cup. Here's the squad in full. No surprises in the goalkeeping department. Mary Earps will be number one. Aston Villa's Hannah Hampton is included, despite having time away from the squad following the Euros win last year. There were injury doubts over Millie Bright and Lucy Bronze, but both are in the squad. Following Leah Williamson's injury, Bright will captain the side in Australia and New Zealand. Neve Charles and Esme Morgan will be at the tournament for their first major tournament, rather. Maya Letizia misses out, though, but she is on a standby list. Jordan Nobbs left Arsenal for Aston Villa in January and her form is rewarded with a call-up. Ella Toon, Kira Walsh and Georgia Stanway were a major part of England's victorious team from the Euros last year. And someone who played as a defender last year has now moved to the forward section. Rachel Daly has had a brilliant season with Aston Villa scoring 22 goals. Bethany England scored 12 goals in 12 games since moving from Chelsea to Tottenham in January. It's her first call-up since last year. Chloe Kelly, who of course scored that famous winner in the Euros final, is also included. No Ellen White, who's retired. Alessia Russo could lead the line. Let's get back to Southern Coalfield in the West Midlands and our reporter, Anton Tolui. Anton. Yeah, Darmesh, look, you've named, listed off some great names there. Some players that haven't made it. Must be really tough selecting that squad. So let's find actually how tough it was because Serena Wiegmann joins us live on Sky Sports News. Serena, are you pleased now that you can actually name the squad and, and get into full World Cup mode? Yeah, I'm pleased. Uh, we had to make some hard decisions. Uh, we had to make the phone calls uh, and inform everyone. Uh, now that's done, we can move on. Uh, first, the players go on a little holiday. Not everyone, because there's still a Champions League final to go next Saturday. But after that, everyone will be on a little holiday and then we can start. I'm sure you've made some people's holidays a lot happier. Yeah, well, that's always, you know, you have a very good side of making the squad selection, but you also have a, a sad side because some players are out and they're very disappointed, of course. Uh, unfortunately, that's also part of the job because you have to make decisions. A lot of people will be talking about the players that aren't in the squad, but how excited are you with the team that you're taking to Australia? Yeah, I am very excited. And uh, this is our team. Uh, we're getting ready for it. And then we're going to compete at the highest level in the World Cup against very good contenders. And we're part of them too. And uh, yes, I'm getting really excited. Uh, we spoke a little bit earlier about Beth Mead not being in the squad. But I just want to know, how is she? Because she's had a tough sort of, well, year, really. Yeah, she had, uh, well, she has enormous highs, but also uh, enormous lows. So she's good. She's in a good place. She's a very positive character. And she's a little ahead of schedule, but it's too early for the World Cup. And uh, I'm not willing to take risks because we have to take care of her, too. And, um, yes, yeah, so hopefully she'll be ready um, uh, soon for club and country uh, after the World Cup. A lot has been made about the leadership and obviously we talked about Millie Bright being captain, but how important is it to have leaders in the squad? Are there enough leaders in the squad? Because there's quite a lot of inexperience in that squad. Yeah, there's some inexperience. I think we have enough leaders. Uh, I think last year we also said that there's so many leaders in this team and, and, and are very supportive to the whole team. Uh, I, st I still think we have that and we have to, yeah, again, to be supportive to each other. And sometimes you don't really see the leader sometimes, but behind, you know, you have quiet leaders and leaders step up all the time. And that's also part of leadership. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm confident that we're in a good place with the dynamics in the team. Are you happy now? Do you feel like a weight's been lifted off your shoulders that you've told the players and now you can focus on football yeah yeah I'm happy I'm happy that it's done and uh, yes for me it's very hard to, of course to make those decisions too because you know we've worked with a lot of players and uh, they all doing their very best and lots of players have done really well too but still not picked because the competition is so high so I'm, I'm uh, yeah I'm uh, I'm happy that it's done now now we can move on and um, and get started all set for June 19th uh, yes, we are. Just uh, <laughs> waiting till we get the confirmation. Well, that's that looks like I can see excited to get to get going again. So, Serena, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. You're very busy this afternoon. Yeah. You've got some kids to coach yeah. in a minute as well. So, yeah. look, we'll thank see. you very much for joining us, Serena Bingman, live on Sky Sports News. Like I said, we now know the 23 players going to Australia this summer. More reaction throughout the day on Sky Sports News. <laughs>